my brother, America is not the one invested with the authority to make the rules of marriage. Your grandmother and your grandparents are not vested with the authority to make the rules of marriage. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying don't listen to counsel. In the most of counsel, there is wisdom. But I know you are an Idoma man. She too, an Idoma girl. There are certain things from the Idoma kingdom that are not consistent with scripture. You will drop them aside. You will honor the people that tell you, but you will tell them that, well, now I'm a new creation. And the person that makes rules of marriage is not Idoma too. It's God. So he makes the rules. And what that means is you will have to have respect for the ordinances of marriage. And there are just two ordinances of marriage. The first ordinance of marriage, which is for your wife, is submission. When you come on that submission, that's when heaven will get and say, this one is a wife. And what makes a wife is submission. So he didn't say he who finds a woman. You don't become a wife when they marry you. You become a wife first before you are found. I know ladies are now thinking that God hates them. The man will keep a more rigid law. The man own is even more harder than the woman. You know why? Sir James, your ordinance is self-denial, which is death. Your own ordinance to keep is self-denial. So when the Bible was teaching, it now said, Husbands in 25, we are to love our wives as Christ loved the church. How did Christ love the church? He died. So there are many times blessing will be very unreasonable. How you will love her is not to slap her. Because if Jesus was slapping you for every foolish thing you did, by now you would have been dead. You will have to meet her in the night. I know she is foolish. That's why she's called the weaker vessel. So you will keep dying. How you prove that you are a man to bless him is not that by shouting at her and slapping her, you will die. There are times blessing will look at you and she will even disdain you. My brother, you are married wife. You will die. If you raise your hand, your relationship with God is in trouble because he tells you that if you don't dwell with her according to knowledge, he tells you that your prayer will be unhindered. That prayer is not praying, you know. That prayer is your relationship with God. What God is trying to tell you that you are fake even if you are a pastor because you are claiming that you have relationship with God and yet you can't express that relationship with your wife because the relationship between a woman and a man who are husbands and wife is the Christ and the, and it is Christ and the church. So when you claim that you have a relationship with God, how God will know is that he will look how you are treating blessing. So there are days blessing will be so weak. There are days blessings will be foolish. There are days blessings will shout at you. You won't raise your voice because Christ died a thousand times. Christ knew that we were sinners. We were unreasonable. Christ came in self-denial. When we say she should submit, the kind of man she is submitting to is a man who is dead. So even if blessing brings a billionaire and submits it to you, how we know that you truly love her is that that billionaire is her own. So the Bible says you have to honor your wife. That the proof that you love yourself is that you will need to die to yourself and show that love in her. Because if you don't do that, your relationship with God is under attack. So you can stay as an apostle. Takwa, takwa, ta. God will say you are making noise. How we know you are a child of God? I will look at blessing. The day blessing is sad. What have you done? The day blessing is down. What did you do? So there are days you will have twenty thousand naira in your pocket, and you have not eaten. You will not think about your stomach first, because if Christ thought about himself, he will not be safe. For God so loved the world, he gave his, he had to give. So you will come back home, and she will ask you, have you eaten? You will now smile and say, you have eaten. And you give her the 20,000 there, and take back to work. And they will like, are you okay? Now, I'm trying to tell you that when you come into this home, don't come as an idoma man. Die. Die a thousand times. You have to receive the ordinances of God and live by. Because how we will know that you truly love God and love yourself, we will have to see it in blessing.